It's Warren here with Copeland Small Engine Repair and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the hydraulic transmission fluid on a John Deere Zero Turn. Uh, this is a Z820A. This may work for a bunch of other models but this is the one I'm working on. Uh, what you want to do is just flip the seat open. You want to do this with the engine and the, the hydraulics and everything. You want it cold. You don't want this hydraulic fluid hot or the transmission's hot so make sure the, the whole machine's cold. Raise the seat and you're going to take this little cap off of each transmission. There's the other transmission. I got the cap off of it. And once you get that little cap off, make sure you don't get any dirt or debris in these transmissions. Uh, the oil filter is screwed into the bottom of these transmissions. And the oil filter looks like this. So don't look for an oil filter sticking out like a, an oil filter on an engine. Uh, this hydraulic oil is the filters for these goes up inside the little transmission. So from the outside on the bottom, all you're gonna see is this. And I used a 5 8 inch socket and a ratchet. It may be metric, but 5 8 work fine to take this out. And the part number for these little filters on this machine is right here. So once you get the filter screwed out, uh, just let it sit. You want to put a pan underneath it like that because oil is going to run out. That's how you drain the oil is when the filter comes out, the oil comes out with it. So once you get those out, uh, let it drip for, you know, five minutes. Get everything you can out. Then put the new filters back in it. And you want to put some hydraulic fluid on the two O-rings on the filter. You want to put hydraulic fluid on here just to make them go up in their little pockets a lot easier. Let's put some hydraulic fluid on it and screw it into place and get it good and snug, but don't get stupid and break it because this is plastic. Uh, once you get the filter back in it, you're gonna have to fill it back up with fluid. The part number for the fluid on this machine, uh, the John Deere part number's right there. And I filled one up already and it took about half a gallon, maybe a little more. I've got two gallons of fluid just in case I need it. I'm not sure how much total it's going to take. But when you put fluid in these, I had to make me a little funnel. I took a little funnel like this, and I put a little piece of PEX tubing in it that fits in this little hole because none of the funnels I had would fit. And I just put duct tape. So I made me a little funnel to fit down in there. So I wouldn't have to hold on to the funnel too. And the way you fill these up, there's a sight window on the front of these. This little nut shaped piece on the front of the gearbox is a little glass sight window. And the way I look at it, I've got a little mirror. It's a little car mirror I use. And I set it right there. And that way I can look straight down and I can see when the oil gets to that sight window. Because you want to fill this thing up until you see... Whoa, until you see the oil show up in the sight window right there. And I've got a little really bright flashlight, a little tactical flashlight I use to help me see that. Uh, but just put oil in it till it gets up to that little sight window and you're done. If you don't have a mirror, you can make your own little dipstick. I've got a little, or actually it's a humongous zip tie right here. And it's like from the bottom of this little square nub to the end, is four and three eighths of an inch and that's the perfect length for a dipstick and i can put that in there now don't use a dipstick that you can drop in there because you're gonna have to pull the filter off so make sure you got something that won't go all the way in there and but four and three eighths of an inch is a perfect dipstick as soon as i see it on the end of this just right there i know it's full of that sight window so i've got two ways to tell but if you've got a mirror down here and a flashlight it's real obvious when it comes up in the sight window. You can see it pretty good. But this is just another way to, to tell how much is in there. And this is a good thing you can have uh, just in your mower out on the field. So you can check your fluid if you need to. But four and three eighths of an inch from the very top edge of this hole to where it touches fluid is a good dipstick length. But anyway, I use a mirror, uh, make you a funnel, fill it up to that sight window, and you're done. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I uh, hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.